And here we are, yet again with another episode of our weekly NeoVim plugin videos. So, this week we have Eververst. Eververst is a NeoVim plugin that'll help you manage. Actually, it's not just a NeoVim plugin, but it's a plugin that'll help you manage your color scheme. And uh, if you'll notice right here on the left, we have our init.lua configurations open, and this color scheme is horrid. So today we're going to go over how to install Eververst, which is one of my favorite color schemes, um, how to configure it, and also how to do certain little changes to it if you want. Um, so it's going to be a quick video today. Let's hop in onto how to install it. So if you watched my previous videos on Packer, um, this should be pretty familiar to you. Just go into the plugins file here, and then you insert this line, use Eververst, which will tell Packer to install this particular plugin from GitHub. So once you put this line in here, you just do a Packer install, and that'll install this plugin for you, but we're not quite ready to use Eververst yet, you can see Right now I have this line in my Vim configurations, but I'm not using the color scheme at the moment. In order to use it, you have to go back into your init.lua, and um, you can see in my init.lua, I have a file here that I've commented out for the purpose of this demonstration it's called color scheme. Color scheme is a very simple file which just runs Vim commands to change the color scheme of Vim. So in this case, we're setting the Eververse background to hard, Eververse current word to underline, and color scheme Eververse. All right, so let's go back to our net.lua, and what we'll do is we'll uncomment that, and let's go ahead and reload, or close Vim, and then open it back up again, see what we get. Finally, yes, a decent looking color scheme. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt the eyes. Now, Eververst is kind of cool. If you look over here on the right, you can see that um, they have different contrasts and backgrounds that you can play with. Now, if you're like uh, crazy or a degenerate, you can set the background to light. And I'm only gonna do this very, very quickly because light theme isn't very good to look at. Um, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, or what you could do also, we were looking at the color scheme file earlier, is you can um, set the contrast, Eververse background hard, medium, soft. You can see there are subtle differences with that here on the on the GitHub page. And then you could also set set several options. One, one I really like, it's called Eververse current word to underline, which will underline the current word the cursor is on doesn't really work quite well because as you can see it's underlining the entire thing quoted in double quotes but um what we really want what i really want is just to underline the word not the entire quoted string but still kind of useful and something i really like um plenty of other options that you can look through if you hit help ever forced dot txt That'll open up the documentation. We'll go over configuration, usage, and so forth. But for the most part, pretty easy. Now, if you're looking for some other color schemes, I recommend this website. It's called vimcolorschemes.com, which will kind of go through all of the trending Vim color schemes. Tokyo Night is pretty popular. You can see here Night Fox. Eververse is in here somewhere, but it's kind of down towards the list. There it is. Plenty of options for you. Just click on their uh, repository, go to GitHub, and then walk. it'll walk through on how to install these particular color schemes. And that is color schemes in NeoVim.